YouTubers. Welcome back to another little session talking about bikes. This time I want us to consider shaft bikes versus chain drive bikes or even belt drive bikes. Why would you want to buy a shaft drive motorcycle and not a chain drive motorcycle? Because let's face it, most, most motorbikes are actually chain driven. So the big advantage of a shaft drive motorcycle is that there's very little maintenance. It's much less fuss than a chain. Take for example this BMW R1200 RT. The service intervals for the drive shaft are actually very minimal. See here we have the drive shaft assembly the final drive on your left hand side. Now there is oil <coughs> in this final drive assembly here. Uh, it's about 180 milliliters of oil. And it only requires draining every 20,000 kilometers. That's a lot of riding and there's no mess. There's no, you see no oil on the, on the wheel. There's no tensioning of the drive shaft. The drive shaft is contained within this swing arm right there. And other positive benefits of a drive shaft motorcycle, especially a BMW shaft drive motorcycle, is that when it, went, when it comes to taking your wheel off, there's five bolts that you have to take out. You take the whole wheel off, there's no messy chain to make your hands greasy. You simply take the bolts out and you can remove the wheel. The disc and the caliper stays attached to to the drive shaft assembly. It is true that you have to loosen the exhaust pipe, the rear muffler section, just to wiggle the wheel out, but that's really a piece of cake. Hey. Now, so if a drive shaft is such an easy system, why then do people have chain drives or belt drives? Well, there are a couple things to consider. One is, are you wanting to use your motorbike for racing? Because a shaft drive setup has what they call a higher unsprung weight. So, to explain unsprung weight, all the bits that move the suspension up and down, which is things like the, the wheels, the drive shaft assembly, perhaps even the fork legs themselves. All those things have added weight on a shaft drive motorcycle, especially the rear end, I mean. So a chain drive is lighter, so to reduce that unsprung weight, if you have a chain or a belt drive, well, then you do score. But then you have a lot of maintenance issues, greasing chains, cleaning chains, tensioning chains. Belt drives are probably a very good option because there's no lubrication required and also um, they're quiet and they're light. But think about it. If chain drives were such a good thing, um, why would not all cars have chain drive? Because a shock drive is a better system, especially for your average Joe Soap rider, especially for touring riders. And some people complain about shock drives and they say, well, when you accelerate, the rear end rises. When you decelerate, the rear end drops a bit. And yeah, that might have been true in the 1970s and 1980s. But now they've actually made uh, shaft drives with parallelogram uh, links, link arms. So they don't really do that anymore. So if you look at the drive shaft, they have torque arms like that arm just up there to prevent such actions from happening. So, chain drives are cheaper, they have less unsprung weight, but in the real world of riding, shaft drive rules. <laughs>